Hello everyone. Now as you can see I'm going to tie a uh, caddis and this this particular one is uh, egg laying caddis uh, because of this green egg sac at the back. Now let's start with uh, with tying. Let's go right into it. So the hook I'm using is some kind of uh, caddis hook. It's perfect for clink hammers, uh, good for caddis. This curved shape here uh, allows it to sink a little bit deeper into the water film and to imitate right uh, the, the thing I want to show you right now. So I want to start somewhere around where my uh, thorax will, will begin and this is a slippery thread it's some kind of like nano silk so I need a little bit more wraps to start the fly but when you start it it's very very good uh, Apart from slippery, everything else is perfect. So go with your thread in touching turns uh, all the way behind up until the place you want to place your egg sac. And that's quite deep into the band of the hook as you can see. Uh, leave your vise sideways because if you do this the thread will slip down. So just leave it sideways and now pinch a little bit of antron like so. Uh, make those uh, fibers parallel as you can see and then just uh, spin it around the thread and when you spin it it's very important like you don't have to uh, make tight noodle no just start everything here and as the first wrap begins to form sometimes they it runs away but as the first wrap begins to form like so you can pull and you can make this noodle very tight and in this particular case it's tapered you can control that of course uh, but for this fly it's not important so just form a ball with uh, the ball which will imitate egg sac behind you can exaggerate if you like as you can see here now stop so secure it a little bit in front so you have a, just a dubbing ball here now you can choose whatever you like like the caddis in your area you can choose the color according to that and most caddis flies are more or less brown or green and I'll make brown to contrast this green egg sac as you can see here I can make it green green so it doesn't really matter uh, when you dub the thread go with a loose dub because of the next step and this dubbing as you can see it, it, this one is per, made of out of wildcat mixed with some UV dubbing and uh, make this dubbing noodle rather loose so just touch it twist it that's it and then go in touching turns but press with your thread press with your thread and go in touching turns towards the eye of the hook. If you see that dubbing is missing somewhere, just double the wraps over that spot and stop at the place you want to place your wings. So at this point what I like to do is I like to give it a little brush with velcro and as you can see those uh, spiky hairs they can imitate legs and they will actually support your fly a little bit more if you add some floatant into this dubbing. But what I like to do, I don't, uh, I don't put floatant into this. I like this dubbing to suck water, to, to soak with water, to allow fly to sink deeper into the water film. And I like my wings and my legs to support my fly. You will see that next. Now for the wings, I'd like to use CDC, triangular shape as always, and I placed as you can see I placed dark one on the bottom light one on the top the reason behind this very easy to see the fly when you do that now align your tips and here is one tip for the wings to make each fly same you want your wings you want to find some way to measure those wings so I measure them to be hook lengths and then I'll just go back and extend with my wings behind the hook band as you can see it now. Now keep those feathers on the top. 
with pinch and loop. Pinch, loop, catch those feathers and then place it on the top. Check if everything is on the top of the hook. If it is, if you are satisfied with that, just pull it upwards, give it two turn in front and then go back, pull those feathers upwards and pull down your thread and then place everything on the top. If it rotates like so, give it a twist back and then add a little bit more turns. And this is why this thread is amazing. You can apply so much pressure that it, it is incredible. Now cut what you don't need here. It's good to do it by an angle so when you cover it with the thread it will make some transition between thorax and eye of the hook. So it won't make a bump here and your thread won't slip down. So this is it. Position your wings right now even better if you need. Okay. This is perfect. Now, create a loop. Create a loop. Catch it with your thread so it sits on the side or wherever you like it. And go with your thread towards the eye. Make a half hitch knot here. Oops, I missed. Okay. And prepare your dubbing loop material. In this case, it's a feather from a bird similar to partridge. I'll show you. I use those feathers here. They look perfect. And what I like about this feather is that it has extremely a uh, thin stem. I mean here it's thick but as you go up whoop suddenly it gets very thin so it's perfect for wet flies it doesn't build up any bulk to your flies. Now I put that feather and I put a little bit of CDC here and you can see that this part here has longer fibers so I will place it upwards like so. I want long fibers to be near CDC near CDC wings. So place it in the loop. Okay, I'll just slide it up uh, as you can see. It's nice perpendicular to the thread. You can distribute it to be a little bit longer but keep it even as much as you can. Now, give it a twist with dubbing twister. Help it with your fingers. And now, keep your wings on the top. And when you finish your first wrap with these legs around your wings, then you can release the pressure there. And you just pull up and backwards those legs. So you make a turn up and backwards make a turn up and backwards and you do that until you reach the eye of the hook do it in touching turns okay now spin your bobbin around this loop thread and catch this thread now Pull this thread backwards in order to lock it and then you can cut it out. Okay. Now here is a little tip about making web finish knot. Prepare a little length of the thread and then all those legs you position them as you want them and press hard on them and then you make a knot. So the knot will position them for you. Do a second whip finish knot. As you can see the thread is white but as you put pressure on it it will get color from the material beneath. 
that's why I like it. It matches the color of your fly always. Do the final settings to your fly. If needed, you can cut those legs from beneath, but usually it's not needed. So this is it. It's very buoyant fly. It's easy to uh, to pull it under the water and then imitate diving caddis. This green egg ball is imitating those hatching caddis that are laying eggs around the water. So guys, thank you very much for watching and see you next week.